the Bukasa Inland Port Project. I think it is relevant to have a brief on this project. Thank you for returning and subscribing. If you are new, you are welcome. This inland port is planned to be located along the shores of Lake Victoria on 500 acres of land in Ibukasa Wakiso district that is about 16 kilometers by road from Kampala city. Ibukasa port development started in 2019 but unfortunately stopped at the dredging stage. Dredging means clearing the bed of the lake by scooping out mud and weeds. This happened because the government of Uganda requested to negotiate its financial agreement with a German firm so that it can involve African companies to also compete and reduce construction costs. The latest bid was held in Brussels in October 2021. Two construction companies from Belgium showed interest, but their price offers were way too high to be considered due to Uganda's public procurement and the disposal of public assets regulations. This port was planned to be fully operational by the year 2030 and designed to handle 5 million tons of goods every year. Buka support project is part of the East African Community Inland Waterway Transport Infrastructure Development Project. This port development is aimed at easing transportation of imported goods from Dar es Salaam through the port of Mwanza in Tanzania. Gaf Engineering Company from Germany was tasked to perform the consultant's work for the construction of this port and also provide a master plan design, preliminary planning, construction preparation works, mediation and sexuality financing plus education and training of personnel. This consultancy company has recently represented an updated feasibility study to Ministry of Works for review and assessment. This ultramodern inland port is estimated to cost 200 million euros, that is approximately 820 billion Ugandan shillings. National Environmental Management Authority approved the construction of this inland port in February 2019. Construction will be done in a phased manner. That is, phase 1 will involve construction of the port, administration jet, free trade zone, shunting yard, a two-bath multipurpose terminal, and a two-bath rural terminal. Phase 2 is expected to be completed by 2030. That is extending the married purpose terminal by adding two baths to a total quay length of 540 meters. And phase 3 is planned to be completed by 2040. That is to extend the quay length of the terminal to 960 meters. As you all know, this project deal has taken longer to be executed than expected, but is it feasible and economically viable? Your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you for watching up to this point. I hope you have subscribed. I will be excited to see you in the next one.